Well, nice smile. Uh, President Biden ignoring questions about the cocaine found at the White House. Apparently, he thinks it's humorous. As the Secret Service orders DNA and fingerprint, uh, fingerprint testing to figure out how it got there in the first place. Here to react, South Dakota Governor Kristi Noem about that and more. Governor, mm -hmm. when, we, when we saw the crossdresser take off his or her top uh, on the White House grounds, I thought that was mm -hmm. low. But this goes even lower. What is your take, and how important is it to find out whose it is? Oh, we deserve the truth. This is the people's house. Uh, it is something that the people in this country pay for and maintain and expect dignity and respect there. So we need to know how it got there, make sure that the White House and those involved are telling us the truth so we can ensure that it doesn't happen again. My biggest concern is if you're allowed to bring in cocaine into the White House, what else is being brought in? What else is slipping through the cracks and how much of a danger is that to this country? Right. Uh, and also security absolutely uh, means something there. And his son's mm -hmm. been there and through all these uh, mm -hmm. these trials and tribulations of his legal situation. So uh, let's mm -hmm. talk about the, the Republican field. I know you have not ruled out running, but looking at the field, you have quality candidates. Even I see Democrats uh, admitting that. But yet the president's lead is strong. Do you think it's because of his team and his message, or do you think the field is underachieving? Well, I don't think it's necessarily because of his team. I think it's because of him. I think he's a fighter. And every day, Americans get up and they're shocked by what they see happening in the United States of America. And they recognize that when President Trump was in office, uh, that they were safer, that their national security concerns were not at the level that they are today, that they had more money in their pocket, food didn't cost so much, gas didn't cost so much, and they're thinking, wow, I'd do anything to get that back again. And this president doesn't give up. I think that's what's incredible about President Trump is he is a fighter. So we've got great people running. I'm not going to say that some of these candidates don't have a lot of opportunities here, but with President Trump in that race and us needing someone who will really go to the mat for the American people, I don't see how they get the traction to come out on top. 35 million he's put up uh, in the last quarter raising. Mm -hmm. It's an extremely high number. Uh, do you think uh, the word is DeSantis will get close to that? Do you think if there's anyone to emerge out of the field, it would be him? You know, I've run probably 11 campaigns now, Brian, and what mattered to me was the small donors, the people who cared enough to send you $5, $10. President Trump has millions of small donors that invest in him. They maybe aren't rich people, they aren't big donors, but they go out there and they use their hard-earned money to get a mm. leader elected. I don't think any of the other candidates have that kind of commitment from the people that invest in them. They have big donors that write them big checks. I think that is powerful. But those small donors that President Trump has um, really sends another message as well. All right. Uh, the other big story you can really relate to, it's around Mount Rushmore. Uh, ben and Jerry's is saying it's time for us to return places like Mount Rushmore back to uh, Native Americans. Quote, we need to start with Mount Rushmore. The faces on Mount Rushmore are the face of men who actively work to destroy indigenous cultures and ways of life and deny indigenous people their basic rights. I know you get up in the morning and think, what would Ben and Jerry do? Uh, and having <laughs> said that, do you think it's time for us to return Mount Rushmore? No. Uh, t listen, two things to be clear about today. Uh, I love ice cream. So in my family, we bought it by the five-gallon buckets. That's how much we ate ice cream every night before we went to bed. Number two, I'm not going to listen to a bunch of liberal um, Vermont businessmen who think they know everything about this country and haven't studied our history. Uh, right now, Mount Rushmore is the greatest symbol of our freedom and history of the United States of America. We can learn from the men on that mountain. We can do better. But boy, they led us through some challenging times. And I think uh, Americans in this country need some inspiration, and we can gain it from a monument like that. We should be proud of America and knock off what Ben and Jerry's is doing. Right. Um, they don't have any idea what they're doing. Yeah, they take advantage of this country, the free enterprise and the freedom, mm -hmm. and then they criticize it like so many. Now, you have a goal. By 2024, at least, 4th of July, fireworks. This administration is denying it. When Trump was in mm -hmm. office, you were there with the president. How important would it be for you to get this going again? Oh, it's critical. So tourism is our second largest industry in South Dakota. Millions of people come and visit us every year. So to be able to host fireworks at Mount Rushmore is not just a symbol of our freedom, but it's something that encourages people to come and spend some time with our people in our state that are so wonderful. And you know, listen, we had these fireworks for many, many years until President Obama took them away. President Trump gave them back, and as soon as 
uh, Biden came into the White House, the very first day he said no more fireworks at our symbol of freedom. So we'll keep fighting them. They're breaking federal law by not allowing us to have this fireworks show. So I'm going to keep fighting them uh, through law. I'm going to keep fighting them in the courts uh, until we have mm -hmm. them respect the laws and allow us this opportunity to celebrate independence. Yeah, it's all about you being a Republican. You did the environmental impact studies, said no problem, and they still have a problem. Governor, always great to see you. Congratulations on the success of your recruiting program, and we watch your spots all over the channel. You had a lot of people applying. Great. Uh, and soon you're going to have traffic yes, in South do. Dakota if you keep this up. Thanks so much. Well, thank you. Thank uh, you. Come visit us. All right, we will. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.